everybody, welcome back to the podcast, the Project Investigation Collaboration, the collaboratory podcast between our gracious host, founder of the Veritas Project, Robert Curtis. That's me. And myself, investigator Todd, Todd Boyer, and welcome to the Aliens Podcast. Right, different types of aliens. Well, we've been We've been talking about this off and on for a while and just never got around to it. Yeah, and we were, you know, kind of thinking about it. We're like, man, we talked about... Craft. We, we talked about crafts and things that aliens could have possibly done, right. but we never got into the what, actual aliens themselves. What types of aliens there are. So. Yeah. That's weird that we, we save this one for our, like, 20th episode. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many episodes we're in, um, but we, we're we going to cover, I believe it's five different types of aliens this yep. evening, and uh, there's all kinds. Yeah, we, we cut out the <laughs> ones that are, like, you know, Fringe. Yeah, just like... Like, like nobody really says they see kind of a yeah. thing so but, but we, we we left off one that that i i consider an alien but they that then that's a uh, octopus and squids oh like, yeah like those cephalopods are definitely aliens because no other no other animal on the planet has dna like an octopus does well right and they're so intelligent right they are so intelligent they figure out puzzles like like so easily and yeah. they can basically can get through little tiny holes because they have no skeleton so they just right. kind of mush down and they get through the holes and they figure out puzzles and mazes and all kinds of stuff like they're brilliant brilliant they're creatures really intelligent they're so, super intelligent they're not on our list they're not on our list so. <laughs> um so let's let's actually start over here and save the best for last yeah so we're gonna start with um energy beings all right right now, energy beings, they're also known as light beings or plasma beings. Mm -hmm. They're entities that are composed of energy rather than, you know, conventional matter. And, you know, they may appear as a glowing orb or a shimmering light or, you know, just... Odds. Yeah, just any kind of, you know, uh, maybe like a, a... I'd say more like a ghostly entity, but right. like lit. Right. Right? They give off their own kind of kind they're, of light they're luminescent. so they're, yes they're right. very, they're luminescent they can take all sorts of shapes right so they exist as pure energy mm -hmm. right and that allows them to transcend any kind of physical limitations right. uh, including space and time space time right so they you know can do whatever they want to do and move however they want to move yeah. and we have always said you know that energy is never destroyed it's right. always transferred into a different form right so first rabbit hole of the night what if what we perceive as aliens or even spirits and apparitions what if they are either a aliens or the aliens are apparitions Could because be. they transcend space and time right and they they can phase from one sort of reality to another so mm -hmm. they can only like they could only interact uh, verbally or psychically if they want to. Right. Right. And that's the thing about energy beings, these alien energy beings, is that they they can show you what they want you to perceive them as because somehow through some something we don't understand, they can manipulate photons. Right. So they can either be viewed as just a ball of light or they can take the shape of a person or an angel or right. anything because they, they they have that ability. Right. And then, you know, they believe that these things are interdimensional yeah. rather than, you know, from rather than being more of a terrestrial right. or extraterrestrial, it's an interdimensional being. Yeah. So and encounters with these energy beings, um, they often involve, you know, like a spiritual or, or mystical experience. Right, right. Right, because you're talking about something that resembles an angel or a so god like or angel, whatever, yeah. because it's it's made of light. Yeah. So these energy beings, you know, are, are kind of a profound one. They are a little more rare. Yeah. You don't hear a lot about them. Um, you know, some some of the theories on these is like Bob said, telepathy communication, yeah. um, nonverbal communication in mm. different forms or whatever. So, you know. The encounters with these energy beings are less common than other types, right. but they've been reported in various paranormal and UFO related contexts. So and that's they, the first one. They're not really associated with a craft. Right, right. So that yeah. that's another thing. So I wonder if, okay, so we have the, the ball lightning. Mm -hmm. I wonder if ball lightning gets misconstrued and is actually extraterrestrial, interdimensional. That could be because they... Whenever we talk about ball lightning, somebody in the comments always says, well, it, the ball lightning's never been proven before. 
Like right. we have videos of it though. Right. So like that that's evidence. Right. right. If it existed for them to record it, then that's a thing. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. But so yeah. So it absolutely. Could be an energy being, and then they're interacting with the environment. Maybe mm -hmm. they're amped up too high, and then yep. that's causing the the off offshoots of the voltage you know oh no rabbit hole we've yeah. been down two rabbit holes already <laughs> haven't even gotten through one alien right. yet so down two rabbit holes we go um so the next one we have another very uncommon one is mantis beings or right. mantoid aliens you know they're described as tall insectoid uh resembling like a praying mantis they're often portrayed as a wise or yeah. or spiritual kind of an advanced being and sometimes they have robes Mm -hmm. on and they'll have uh the zeta reticuli um constellation on their robes right and i picture i picture the big triangular shaped head with the two eyeballs yeah, near the, the top right right you know and that's that's kind of what we're going for and obviously just like any other time we do the podcast what you guys are seeing here um bob always finds pictures when he edits tomorrow morning yeah. and uh don't forget to join bob live tomorrow morning right. for we'll when do he does editing. the editing of this you know yeah. and uh, and the guys who are watching the edited video know that in the future if you want to see our podcast being being put together yeah you know that you can come in on monday morning so that on, when I, yep, when monday I'm mornings on together. tiktok on the veritas project and, yep. and bob edison and he'll throw pictures of all these aliens in yeah. here so you guys that are watching live you know come check out the video so you can see what the aliens we're talking about so um so the description they 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 possess telepathy again right you know because a lot of times these aliens you know are higher life forms and and supposedly they have profound wisdom that they can pass on yeah um some accounts you know say they act as guardians or mentors to other alien species including humans right so you know if they, you encounter a manis being it's off it's often like a feeling of awe yeah right so so a reverence you know which can possibly go back to like beginning gods and things you know yeah so they I say mean, that the mantis are uh here to impart wisdom right like they're they're here to teach us something they're not a part of, they're not one of the aggressive uh species so they might <laughs> these are people that might are entities that might have interacted with governments on that level right you know and they, they don't talk to like regular regular old folk you know, right like hey get off the tractor and let me tell you something <laughs> you know they, they go to like the government and like hey this is how you can filter water better or this is how you can make better radiation shielding or, you know things like right. that and they do believe that um you know that they're connected to ancient earth you know mythology appearing yeah. in folklore or cultures as diviner or mystical entities yeah. so you know going back a long ways you know bob and i firmly believe that you know aliens visited and oh, have yeah. been visiting this whole time and may even have made themselves very well known to the ancient races right you know we firmly believe yeah. that you know it, we believe that you know there could be very well paranormal stuff with the or ufo with the pyramids right you know we, yeah. we firmly believe in that so there, there's evidence for that that in the the antediluvian period before right. the flood that the aliens used to interact with humans all the time right and then when the flood happened they were like nope yep. <laughs> we're not going to mess makes up this you new wonder civilization so so uh our next one are the nordic aliens the nordics yeah so nordic aliens uh also known as palladians yep. or the tall whites yeah okay um they're human-like uh fair skin light hair blue eyes uh also betrayed as as benevolent or right. or spiritual um i've heard this one is what the men in black fall under yeah they is, think the mibs it, are yep, the they think Nordic. these are the mibs so because whenever you have a a very specific alien encounter that the mibs show up and right. you know want to know what you saw and there and was whatnot, a so. nordic alien that was a a um consultant for the government back in the, the rocket era his name was uh, valiant thor and if you look up valiant thor online you'll see there's a whole 
there's pictures of him. There's all kinds of stuff. It, it's pretty cool because there's a, there's a picture of him at like a, a 1950s government meeting, mm -hmm. and everybody there is like wearing suits and ties and hats and everything. And this dude has like a sweater and sunglasses on. Nice. And they're like, like they couldn't look more. He looks like he's from the <laughs> 60s, you know. But this is like the 40s, you know. Right. So it's it, it's pretty pretty cool. That's kind of wild. Yeah. Now um, they believe that these these aliens originate from the Pleiades star cluster or other nearby star systems. Right. And they claim to have a peaceful agenda and they're focused on spiritual enlightenment and betterment of humanity. Right. So they are they are literally our keepers and trying to keep us safe and, and help advance. And it makes me wonder that if these aliens do contact, and well, obviously they do contact our government or whatever, mm. but how much of the stuff that these aliens are passing on is the government hiding because of the whole money and power oh, yeah, and you know doubt. how much are they, we not getting you they know say that that so. the nordics or the nordic version of aliens are the way that we discovered um the resonance and frequency and and the different right the different uh phases of matter it, it comes from them because they, they were the ones that that taught the people back in the pre-rocket era you know like hey this is how you can you can make uh anti-gravity you can do these other things so like right. the, basically the ufos that, that the government has not not the the ufos that they shot down right and try to reverse engineers but the ufos that the government actually built right come from, from come from this technology right. now these aliens are also depicted with healing um you know yeah. they they are supposed to have psychic powers you know, and then, like you said, you know, they they believe they're part of the role in, you know, our history. Right. Even as far as back as ancient human civilizations and, and mythologies. You know, and encounters with the Nordic aliens are often described as, you know, positive, transformative experiences. Right. You know, and that's that's the ones that are kind of helping. But like we said, you got to get the men in black kind of thing yeah. that kind of, you If you know, ever watch the TV show Fringe, mm -hmm. that's what they, the, uh, the watchers... In fringe, that's what they are. They're gotcha. supposed to be a, a watered down version of the Nordics. Gotcha. Because they can, the Nordic aliens do this that same thing. They come, they right. show up, and they're like, "Hey, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do this. Are you paying attention? Take notes. I right. Go. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> uh, so, so for you, you guys that are coming in and enjoying the podcast for the first time, uh, you know, make sure you follow both of us because as soon as I get enough to go live, which I don't quite have enough yet. Uh, it'll help when Bob and I go out and do an investigation. Yeah. Because then we can both go live have two, and have both our cameras two on. Cameras, yeah. And you guys can enjoy stuff a lot better yeah. when we do our, our live investigations. I don't know if, you, if you've seen our live investigations, but that is an absolute game changer as far as investigations go. Right. Because without having to, to do the, what was that? You know, dude, you do, you know, that. Yeah. You can, in real time, you can just point the live at it and go, did you guys hear that? Right. Yeah, you heard it. I thought I heard yeah. it. You know, so you have confirmation instantly. Well, you know how much going you on. You guys know how much we hate to be the did you hear that guys. <laughs> right. And we'll never be the dude run guys. You'll we'll never, never be those There guys. will never ever be a time where you hear the dude run moment come, yeah. out, of, come out of this show. It ain't gonna yeah. Happen. And yeah, we hate to be the, the, oh, did you, it's like, oh, damn it. Did I really just do, right. did you hear that? So, but yeah, so if you're following Bob, make sure you follow me too. Um, yeah. Yep. And like I said, don't forget to check out the stuff on on youtube on youtube and let's get into uh one of the most fun aliens yeah that people believe are living under the earth's crust right the reptiles reptilians yep. so those are often described as humanoid mm -hmm. with reptilian features and you know scales you know uh slit pupils sometimes tails you know they're commonly asso associated with conspiracy theories yeah. and regarding the influence of their earth government and society you yeah, know our the, our secret leaders right the bad aliens yeah the bad the bad aliens yeah what who determines good and bad right, right? Well. <laughs> so uh allegedly they originate from the constellation draco yeah and uh you know or other distant star systems yeah so and they they have a a psychic they, they always call them the shapeshifters but that's kind of a misnomer because it's a psychic thing that they're doing mm -hmm. like they're not changing their face to look like humans they're just changing your perception of them right. to look like a human so that's why a lot of times when you hear people talk about reptilians it will be like in the periphery of a camera where like right. somebody's recording something then somebody 
on the very edge of the camera will turn into a lizard person just for a second. Right. And that's because the the reptilian didn't know you were looking at it. Yeah. So it let its guard down and then walked off. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It, it didn't know that you were still able to see it. So it just kind of let its guard down for a second. And a good, a good example of this is check out the movie called They Live. Oh, yeah. With Roddy Roddy Piper yes. as, as the main character. Um, the old good old wrestling Roddy Roddy Piper. Yeah. And uh, one of the best movie lines ever yeah. out of, came out of that movie. It's, I've come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm, I'm all, all out of bubblegum. Bubble <laughs> so, but that's where that line comes from. But it's actually yeah. kind of the same thing. Yeah. He finds glasses, and the glasses allow him to see to reality. See, to see through their, their mind control thing. So he sees all of the all the posters. That yeah, look say like, like obey and yeah, stuff say instead obey, of and breed and, yeah, and uh, buy, consume, consume yeah, yeah. all that stuff. And then so the that's a, are like, it's a good movie yeah. Yeah, if you want to check it out. If, if for nothing else, just because you want to see a fantastic movie. It is. It, it is a great I, movie. I would recommend it to anyone because it yep. has... It has over-the-top silly 80s action. Yes. It has aliens. It has anti-government conspiracy theories. It has... It has. It checks every single box. Yep. It's fantastic. Yeah. It is a great movie. They and, live. And Roddy Roddy Piper. So you, yep. you can't go wrong with, with the Roddy Roddy Piper yep, movie. Yep. Right? <laughs> oh, Kim's throwing more corn. Your Yay. turn, Bob. <laughs> Do it. Sing it. You know, we got to sing it. <laughs> it's corn. It says the juice. <laughs> it's got the knobs. What is it? It's, got it's the, a big lump with knobs. It's got, lump with knobs. It's got the go. juice. It's got the juice. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. The, so, so the reptilians, reptilians are the bad ones. The bad they're, ones. They're the ones that, that kill people. They eat people. They they want destruction, terror, all the good things. Yeah, and they have a long history of interacting with humans. <laughs> yeah, and never right? good. And and they they try to seek dominance. <laughs> Right, and uh, we got more corn, so I guess it's my turn. It's corn, it's a big lump with knobs, it has the juice, it has the juice. <laughs> so, so yeah. they're, um, you know, they're widely dismissed, you know, uh, by mainstream science, but yeah. they always pop up, right? Right. Um, they, they, I don't know, how we go back to this, we always, like, everybody always talks about the lizard people. Right. Which, you know. Which is funny, because, like, if, if it's dismissed and it's like a fringe you know conspiracy theory but then why does everyone bring it up all the time? yeah right yep. so and it, it, it's that's always my funny my my, I, my thing is everything is in the basket right until you can take it out of the basket right right exactly so, everything's possible it can until it can be debunked right so the day that you know they're like nah, you know the the whatever the the mantis people are like, nah, li lizard people don't exist, bro. <laughs> like, then, then we're like, all right, we'll move on. You know, yeah, the mantis, the mantis people tell us that lizard people don't like, exist. There's no such thing as lizard people. Like, all right, uh, that's too funny. When one alien species tells us right. the other one doesn't exist. But we, I, I'm, I'm more apt to believe that there are lizard people over the mantis people because right. we've had interactions recently with lizard people, right. abducting people. The, the. Uh, was it uh, Peru Peruvian aliens? Mm -hmm. That those are lizard people, you know. So the bases that we've had in the ground where lizard people were already in the earth and came and attacked people, right? You know, miners being attacked by them. So I'm, I'm more, I'm a little more towards reptilians being a real thing, right? Than some of the other ones, like the Nordics. There's a picture of Valiant Thor. Right, and we know that the the government wrote checks to a person named Valiant Thor. Really? So yeah, there's a paper trail for this guy, and the, he he's listed in documents in in the the government's documents that, like Valiant Thor was a consultant on rocket technology, blah blah blah. Hmm. You know, so and there's a picture of him. So <laughs> you know, so I mean, it doesn't get more you know proof than that like they've acknowledged he existed there's a picture of him he's cited in documents so we at least know the nordics are real we right. can say reptilians are real because they've attacked people before right so you know energy beam beings we can kind of this neither here nor there because are they really here you know yeah. or the, can they just move space and time so that they can right observe kind of you know which what I mean? is they which don't is, actually come here which in they live they have a watch that they yeah. can like boop kind of teleport right you know so and that's that that's what you know and I, uh, so so going down the rabbit hole <laughs> <laughs> what if they put out that movie to just make people 
think, you know, oh, this is a movie, this is, you know, right. all, all BS kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hide in plain sight kind of a situation. Yeah, exactly. Right? So, it, I mean, it's not beyond our government well, to do a, that. It's a John Carpenter movie. Right. Right? So he doesn't make alien movies. Right. So it could be a thing. You know, he makes horror movies, and then suddenly he made a fantastic action horror right. <laughs> sci-fi movie, yeah. and then went on to make another horror movies. You know, like, this is the one movie that doesn't fit in his wheelhouse of horror movies, you know? So, yeah. all right. So, last but not least, we have the most popular, the yeah. most cited, the most common, documented, everywhere. documented everywhere. Yeah. The Greys. Right. Those are the little short ones with the upside down water droplet shaped heads. Yeah. Right. Little almond shaped eyes. Little almond shaped eyes. I mean, this is your classic UFO yeah. alien yeah. picture. If you Google alien, this is the picture that's gonna yes. come up. <laughs> A little little gray <laughs> the gray skin, everywhere. black eyes, hairless yeah. humanoid. You know, they're usually on the shorter side. Yeah. Um, but also I've also seen that men in black are contributed to like a taller variant of the greys. Right. So, I mean, that also comes into play too. So, and they think that there's something with hybrids yeah. that they do too. Yeah, like a, a human humans. alien hybrid. Right. Yep. And the the greys and the humans have made hybrids that are right. sort of greys and sort of humans that are intermediaries sort of right. Oh, make sure I bump our thing here. Um, <laughs> so they're believed to be, you know, highly intelligent. Yeah. You know, they have advanced technology. Um, they're the ones most associated with the abduction experiences and most well reported. And yeah. speaking of abduction experiences, I saw you bought, you guys got the, oh, the cow lamp. abduction yeah. lamp as I came in. <laughs> that thing is hilarious. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen it, it's it's a little astroturf disc about yeah. yay big, and there's a cow that sits on it, and the lamp is a UFO that's got aliens around the windows, yeah. that and then the there's a clear uh, conical shaped that goes over the cow, so when you light it up, it bright lights the cow. Right, and it looks like and it looks like light you're beam. abducting it, the cow. And then it's the, so cool. The UFO has little lights that go around the inside of it. <laughs> It it's is, really cool. It's, it's pretty awesome. So, sorry, rabbit hole. We've I saw it that. For a long I was like, time. I I just saw it recently. Yeah. So, so, you guys like the UFO stuff? You know, you can get a cow abduction light. There was a funny, um, like a railroad diorama that mm -hmm. we saw one time, and that's what it was. It was a UFO, and they had a cow, and the cow was actually on a string, and it would go up and down. Like that's that. awesome. And, when we went to the only one they had at the store was the display one they, mm -hmm. they didn't have any to sell and they was discontinued uh, so we could never get another uh, one so you probably we, find one now on ebay if you probably you search um all right so back <laughs> out of the rabbit hole back to the grays back to the grays okay so um like we said these are abduction style aliens they're uh, speculated to have a hierarchy society with a very strict chain of command. Yeah. Um, some theories suggest that you know they're genetic, bleh, genetically engineered beings created by another species. Yeah. Which maybe maybe the taller greys are actually the originals. Right. They could be. So I mean, theories the, can go both ways. The greys are are one hundred percent UFO related beings right they don't they don't teleport they don't do any of that stuff they're, right they're very only terrestrial in ufos right yep. so like the reptilians we see <laughs> them like with suits that fly right and we see them in the ground uh -huh. you know the nordics are just like dudes that you see around going back to one of our original podcasts yeah, yeah the suits that fly yeah and the attacks down and the mantises just show up yeah there's never a, a ship associated with them right and then the the energy beings aren't the thing yeah they the don't edges. yeah they don't they just so, appear yeah. so well the greys are the only ones that, that have a vehicle you know and they're proud of their cars you know they're like look at this thing man well you know and then we <laughs> you know if you go it's back shiny. a few podcasts we actually talk about the different types of ufos yeah so you know if you guys are interested in that um anything else we can we could think of otherwise this is going to be a short podcast again yeah. the, the greys were are the ones that usually the government shoots down so mo most of the recovered aircraft that we have, like the Roswell craft and those Wright Patterson right. discs and those other those other aircrafts, they're almost always grays, because that whenever they they've investigated the ship and and looked the inside of it, it always has little bitty seats in it. Right. Now, um, so the something that we touched on way back 
in one of the podcasts is um, the Hive military base that mm -hmm. broke into the cavern. Right. Wasn't that lizard people? That were reptilians. Yeah. The reptilians, yeah. yeah. So go ahead and tell that story since we're on. That was, um, oh man, I can't think off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> I know you know Dulce, it. <laughs> the Dulce base. Yeah, the Dulce in, base. In, yeah. um, in Mexico, New Mexico, in that region. They, um, basically what happened was they were, they were trying to build a base upside down, basically. Yeah, imagine really? um, uh, if you've seen Resident Evil. Yeah, exactly. Like the Umbrella Corporation, how they have this base that's multiple, multiple layers under the earth. Right. And that's what they were doing. They were making more and more layers. Right. Yeah. So they would, they would, they had built like the offices, right. and then as, as the building was going further and further down, it was getting more and more specialized into like your, your black more top secret ops. black yeah, ops your, kind your, of stuff. That yeah. was the whole idea. Was that the bottom of the base would be your your super secret, your super secret stuff? But it's so far in the ground, there's no way anybody could listen or or right. do anything to to try to to you know take any documents out because it's it's in like six feet of concrete between right. one layer and next so anyway as they were excavating the next level down they found a cave system which they they had run into earlier but mm -hmm. they were just like caves like people you know yeah. spelunkers go into but these caves that they run into this time had like a pressure to it yeah so they they like whatever so they started building the thing you know started building the rooms and and they were complaining about things going missing at night and then one of the workers got attacked by this thing and this is this was a big dude so he he fought off the attacker and left and then he called the other people which one of one of the guy who was who was burned was an electrician right, right. and he was like what what are you what are you talking about like there's somebody in the cave you know like what kind of foolish thing is that so then he went down there and then he saw, saw the lizard people right he's like oh shit so then he called you know the upper levels which was the army right and the army went down there and actually got into yeah they, they brought fight. in their biggest butt kickers right. and and, uh, and they had to call the delta force yeah. you know like the you know everybody talks about oh navy seals like navy seals are like dudes that like go home to their wives and they raise kids you know yeah. and they they're like delta force aren't those people they're like, like they're above need, and beyond yeah they they don't they're like you keep them in a box Delta <laughs> is rip the seal off whenever you need something destroyed. Delta is usually <laughs> uh, a collaboration of different, you know, like seals or green beret. Like they're chosen. Op. Yeah. So, so yeah, and then Robin says that Fire in the Sky was based on the Greys and is a yeah. true story. Oh yeah. So yeah, I would definitely check that Travis one out Walton. too. So, yeah. but yeah, so these butt kickers go down there and basically get their they butts kicked. Threw down with these aliens, and the aliens had like some kind of the way they described it in the papers was he had some sort of like a thing on, on his, his chest, chest, yeah, and it was like automated, like an automated defense system. So right. like when you shot at the alien, the a blue beam would come out to whoever shot at the alien. So it didn't, yep. it wasn't actually like like shooting a gun or whatever. It was basically just like standing there. And whenever they would shoot at it, it would fire a beam back at the person that shot it in. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to the electrician guy was he, he popped out around the corner and he had a little little uh, 380 in his pocket and he was like going to help. You right. Know? So he, he fired a shot at it and it fired a beam back at him and just melted half of his body. Yeah. Like he's, he's got third he's degree burns. And yeah. he's got, he was, he he's was in, in bad shape. shape. Yeah. And the only reason why he survived is as one of the last special operators was still able to function kind of snatched him up and chucked him yeah threw him into the into the elevator or shaft yeah. and like then the whole you know explosions and like him. everything yeah he, <laughs> he fragged everything yeah. he basically he, he like basically this. uh you know sacrificed himself yeah. to save this dude and to keep the the beings from coming right. up in the elevator because everything collapsed after he set off the explosives so and then they went. Let's just pour concrete. Let's just down fill here. it up with concrete. And that's what they, what they did. did. They, they just filled it with concrete. They took the elevator out of its shaft and they just pumped concrete in there until it it leveled off, basically. And then then whatever that level was was restricted. And then one level above that was where they started the base. Yep. So basically, you had the shaft they went down. <laughs> and then, right. And then this level is empty. It's kind of like a buffer. Right. And then the next level was completely filled with concrete. So. Like rep reptilians can't swim through that, you know. 
So, <laughs> <laughs> we brought you today, we brought you the five types of aliens, uh, yeah. or the five more common types of aliens. You know, uh, we covered the, the energy beings, mm -hmm. the mantis beings, the Nordic aliens, the reptilians, and the greys. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like Bob and I always say, we like to get you guys interested so you guys can t yeah. continue to... We dip our toe in the pool so you guys can jump in the pool yeah. and really figure things out on your own. We really like it when you guys go out and discover new things that, yeah. you know, get oh, yeah. you interested in trying to find your own truth. And then send me a link to something that you found and you're like, mm -hmm. hey, check this out. Yeah. Like, oh, I know about that. You should see this and this. Yeah, know? Bob and I go back and forth <laughs> with stuff like that. It's like, look at what I saw today. Right. And he sends me a link and I'll send him a link and it goes back and forth like this all the time. Yeah, that's what we're trying to build a community of, of people that think outside the box you know don't follow the narrative of what someone tells you a thing is especially if you can find a picture of it yep you know and so do your own research for sure you know, cnn and and those news the mainstream news will tell you this is all it's all stupid and you're an idiot for even believing any of this stuff but then you can find a picture yeah right it. so <laughs> you're like well right. like okay so there's no such thing as nordic aliens but the government paid Valiant Thor money, and his <laughs> name is on a patent, and he's in, listed in government documents, right? And all his pictures look like an alien, right? So, hmm. so like, well, I, how, how those two things can't exist at the same time, right? right? There's no aliens at all, but also we have recovered aircraft, right? Well, so, then, I mean, you got to admit, I mean, they finally did come <laughs> out and say, yeah, there's such thing as as UFOs or whatever right. they're calling them at this point. So, but who's driving it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, oh, it's you know, they autonomous. said and that David Grush said in the the Congress thing where he was deposed by Congress that that there were biologics recovered yes. in the aircraft. So, you know, they won't tell you anything about who they were, but they right. admit that there was biologics recovered. So that's at least one step in the right direction. Yep. So um, once again, for you guys that are watching us on the live down here. Uh, go ahead and check out, and Robin's throwing more corn, more corn dog on it. <laughs> it's corn. It's a big lump of knobs. It has a juice. It has a juice. Like, oh, she wanted to make us reach our goal, I guess. Yay! So, um, appreciate that. <laughs> but, you know, go out and check things out. If you're yeah. watching down here live, make sure that you go check out the podcast on YouTube because there will be... Um, pictures, pictures involved. Yeah. Catch Bob doing the editing tomorrow morning sometime. Just watch yeah. for him to go live. And he'll, he'll sit here for usually a good hour, hour and a half, yeah. sometimes two hours doing the editing. Check him out tomorrow. Um, anything you guys throw at us up here is going towards the chair fund. Right. So we don't have to have our butts hurting <laughs> while we do these podcasts. Um, and then all Bob's social media is rs curtis or the veritas project and we, he's on everything yeah i'm on everything and we are starting to get on everything yeah, we're on Odyssey, uh um, yep go ahead and uh uh spotify and you started a patreon for yeah, us we're on, we're on patreon too so if you want to join it's only a dollar so, <laughs> and we're going to start with the patreon we'll start uh doing postcards or something yeah that's what we said at the five dollar so, tier we're going to send out a postcard every month to everybody who who signs up so but then um Everything I have is Investigator Todd, so come check us out there. And like I said, uh, you know, if you're in here, make sure you're following both of us. Please, please, please go subscribe over on the YouTube. Yeah. Uh, get our get our channel growing. We're we're almost at six thousand. We have yeah. like five point eight eight k. Yeah. So we'd like to get up over six thousand. Um, anything else you want can think oh, of? Uh, some scumbag started a new youtube channel with that's called the veritas project oh really yeah and they already have like twenty thousand subscribers too oh shut I'm them kinda, down i'm kind of salty about it well <laughs> so but i have to report it because i own the trademark to yep. the veritas project yep. so that's that's mine I, I it's listed in the u.s patent office so right and that get, could be a paid for thing too because you could pay for subscribers so yeah but you know is what it is don't don't give them any yeah yeah <laughs> so i so to find us on youtube type in project investigation collaboration it'll yeah. pop right up so yeah. and then um i can't think of anything else can you think of anything else no that's, that's about it for this week all right well it's an easy one yep well remember stay curious find the truth 
and we will catch you guys next time and thank you for joining us this week for aliens yeah bye everybody